back. It's 430 and if you've been outside today, you know two things are true. It's mm -hmm. hot and it's humid. It's really hot. Temperatures have been in the 90s all day and for first responders in the valley, that means that they are at elevated risk for field fires. So this comes just about 24 hours ago. We were tracking a field fire off I-565 and Highway 20. We spoke to Fire Chief Tony Kirk from the East Limestone Fire Department. He says during the hot summer months, it's almost impossible for crews to safely fight those flames without getting dehydrated. After just 10 minutes, Kirk says fire crews are almost drained from excessive sweating, leaving them vulnerable to heat related illnesses much faster. And in cases of field fires, crews oftentimes have to chase down the flames to put them out. So Kirk says the department is taking extra precautions to keep crews safe. Just have to slow down. Uh, I know it's uh, ex extinguishing fires is a fast-paced business, but you have to pace yourself and uh, know your limitations. The gear that we have to wear, our turnout gear, it's like putting on a snowsuit and going out here in this heat. For more details on how local firefighters are staying safe this summer, check out our website at WAFF.com.